Welcome back. Last week, Laura Fong showed us a new turf rebate program that's motivating residents and even one Torrance councilman to upgrade their lawns in the name of water conservation. Now she visits El Camino College where people are challenged to think about water differently in a drought workshop. Connor Everett has found there's more than one way to combat the state's severe water shortage. In fact, there are many. Our water supplies now are dropping down to the level where it's really going to get drastic, the response, because we haven't really responded to drought like we should have in the last two or three years. Everett, a facilitator for the Environmental Water Caucus, was one of the experts at the recent water conservation workshop hosted by El Camino's Horticultural and Environmental Club. A lot of people would think they use less than 100, but the average is about 130 gallons per day per person. Some areas it's much higher. One way to cut down on water use, according to Everett, is with drought-friendly landscaping. Today's workshop highlighted a new plant imported from Japan called Kurapia. The Kurapia requires very uh, low water and low maintenance. So people who want uh, the, the uh, low maintenance on daily mowing uh, uh, turf glasses or who don't want to pay uh, for the big amount of water bill, the president of Karapia, Masataka Ode, says they've been doing research at UC Riverside and UC Davis, and results show the ground cover plant is staying green with little to no water compared to its turf competition. Karapia was keeping these solid green colors throughout the period. This shows that Karapia is how, you know, uh, uh, drought resistance. But what does that mean for water savings? Compared to tall fescue turf grasses, Karapia saves about 70% of water. So they require about 50 inches per uh, year, but Kurapia requires averagely 13 inches per year. So what a uh, you know, great uh, saving of water. Another alternative to traditional turf lawns is an artificial version. Our grass is you put it in and you never have to water again, so people are saving, I mean, up to 300 bucks a month. While the Water Conservation Workshop highlighted different ways to save water and money outdoors, Everett says water can be saved all over. Oh, I'm sure if you went through and their toilets and everything else, their water usage on site would be a good opportunity to make that change. And while there were only a handful of students at the workshop, Everett hopes to inspire the next generation to re-envision how water is used. My colleague called us uh, old water guys. Um, it's hopefully to bring up a new generation of people who are interested in these issues and will get involved because we need some new thinking in water. For Torrent City Cable, I'm Laura Fong. Thanks, Laura. For anybody interested in the turf alternatives to their lawn, there's a turf rebate program offering $2 per square foot of grass replaced with artificial turf. Visit SoCalWaterSmart.com for more information. Well, that is it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chun. If you've missed any portion of our show, you can catch us again at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.